Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, SOS here, and we are continuing our playthrough of No Man's Sky. Uh, last episode we <clears throat> started the autophagy quest line. Uh, we found a sentinel ship, which was nice, though it was... I mean, it wasn't exactly what I was hoping for, so I did some... Um, no Man's Sky coordinate exchange browsing, looking for something better, and I think I found something that I like a little bit better. So I'm doing my plant harvest. Could have done this before recording, but it's alright. While we do it, I can chat a little bit about what today's episode is going to look like. Um, first thing I'm going to do is get that ship that I found on the No Man's Sky coordinate exchange. And I'll post a link in the description if you like the ship and you want to go find it too. Or you'll see what I put in the coordinates and where I go and all that. So it'll be easy enough for you to find as well. It should be easy enough for me to find, I'm hoping. Uh, I've never actually used the No Man's Sky coordinate exchange to find uh, a sentinel ship, but I imagine it's pretty similar. Wow, that, that was a big expedition there. It's pretty similar to other ships, I imagine. Portal coordinates, and then planet coordinates, find the ship, interact with it, and so on. Alright, that's everything there, all the expeditions. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. I'm gonna leave the Atlanta DM in there. Radon. I think I'm gonna sell that. But I'll leave the crystallized heart and the radiant shards. Put all my... Oh, so much stuff to work with here. I'm selling some, storing some. Okay, this I'm selling, 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 selling. I should have kept those, um, storage augmentations. I'll put those in storage. Okay. Where am I at? Iridescite, hot ice, activated copper, aronium. Geodesite. I usually keep those. Okay. That's good. Okay, lots of stuff in storage. Okay. Uh, let's sell. <clears throat> Alright, so after we find this ship, we will continue with the autophagy missions. Pick up where we left off, essentially, but I just want to get the ship out of the way. Something that I'm proud of, something that I want to, um, you know, make better, upgrade, improve. So, where's the one that I have? This one. I can just salvage this, right? I haven't done anything to it. Class B, it's not terrible. As you can see, too, my settlement is in trouble. Sentinel alert level high, so I'm gonna go help that also. Hope everyone's, um, getting ready for the holidays. We're three weeks away from the big one. Christmas is, uh, most people I know celebrate. Although Hanukkah's coming up. All kinds of holidays around this time of year. Yeah, these Sentinel ships are fairly quiet, which is nice. This one, I'm just not a big fan of it, of the looks. So, we'll see. I have a feeling that everyone will like the new one that I go get once I go get it.
There. Salvaged. And what did it give me? The mosquito? That's fine. I'll use that. Uh, yeah, we're gonna just move all these to the ship and sell everything. This will move to the freighter because I want to save that. Sell the upgrades that I got. Beautiful. And up over to the other side and sell all the parts. How about you guys? But the audio seems kind of weird to me, like muffled, muddy. Know if you guys have any issues. Yay, I'm over a billion. Look at that. Alright. Um So the first thing we're gonna do. Do we do this? Yeah, let's go let's go help our settlement first. That'd be a nice quick trip. Always in trouble that settlement. After we finish that, we will then... We will then hit the portal coordinates and go find the sentinel ship. I'd show you a picture uh, of what it looks like that I'm looking at right now, but you're gonna see it anyway. You will see it anyway. Don't you worry. <sighs> Here we go. Combat scope. <laughs> yeah, very, very lackluster audio right now. And it could just be my headset. Yeah, I'm only getting one side of the headset. That's alright. I have another headset I can use. This guy is causing problems. Good, and one more. Come on, come on. Here we go. And a citizen dispute. Can't have a settlement without citizen disputes, right? Resolve. Technical entity. Yep, accuses divination entity of illegal sampling. They present photographs as evidence, though the images are suspiciously grainy. Is he guilty? Um, suspiciously grainy. I will not sentence him. Right? No proof. New settlement resources. Okay. And okay. That's it for settlement stuff for now. Lantidium in the freighter. Okay. Alright, first thing is... Oh, back to the portal. We are warping to... Oh, and let me just double check that it's Euclid. Yeah, Euclid Galaxy. Okay. So, Euclid portal.
This should be an S class, also. Alright, so the glyphs are as follows. Oh, do I have to activate it first? Oh, no, we're good. We're good. Alright, so we get this, uh, I don't know what any of these glyphs' names are, but this one, sunset, I gotta zoom in, hold on. Then two of the galaxies, the bird, the dinosaur, the sunrise, I called it sunset, bird, two ships, the Triforce, and then the face. That's right. All right. Now, before we go in, as with any kind of ship we're going after with coordinates, we want to turn off multiplayer. That way, someone else doesn't snatch it up. I think the planet's called Cursed One. I don't know if we'll be on that planet when we arrive or what, but we will figure it out. Ooh, this... Oh, this planet... Is this the planet called Lotter or the star system? Let's figure it out. Yeah, the planet is called Lotter. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lotter. S-Class Sentinel ship. That's what we want. So I have to go to negative 38. Wow. This is a neat little planet. All purple and a little bit warm. Let's see what my coordinates are right now. I'm not that far. Alright, which direction do I need to go? North? Uh, new. I need to go due south. Until I get to negative 3813. Actually, that might be it over there. Yeah, let's go over there. gonna do it 26 minutes so let me break the atmosphere and then just warp over there yep that's gonna be it according to these coordinates I'm supposed to be at negative 38 13 and 161.98 that's pretty much where I am. No, not really. 161. Where'd that base go? There she is. Oh, everything was purple on this planet. I like it. To get out of the ship. So that's what we're after today. T shard or whatever. Um, I need some mirrors though. I think I need those. Uh, is this even a resonant? Does something planet? Whatever you call it. Dissonance. Dissonant. Yeah. But I need some mirrors. Scan some animals on here. What's that? Harmonic scrap? That's not what I want. 
Uh, I should have thought about that. But I think if I interact, it will give me the mission on here, which is good enough. Mm hmm S-Class. Very nice, very nice. Need a more I need more radiant shard and an inverted mirror. Okay. Is that gonna stay on my yes, 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 yes. Perfect. Alright, let's look around for that mirror. Very uh, mountainous planet, so this might be a little bit tricky. Yeah, radiant shard. I know, I know. Be so ouch. They would be so kind as to point me in the direction. Super helpful. Yeah, I don't know. It's just so mountainous. I don't know. Let's see if we can find it on the scanner. Oh, there's some shards, right? Few of these. Huh? Which, what are they pointing me towards? A mirror? Activate a target sweep to locate a distance resonator. Oh, yeah. Okay. That one closer? Alright, well, where's my ship? I need to go... straight that way. Catch a glimpse. Ouch. Let's touch down right here. Too weak. Okay, let's keep going. I don't want to go, I don't want to go too fast, because I'm worried that won't render in. I'll just zoom right past. Mm -hmm. Still that way, I guess. Let this be a lesson. If you're looking for a sentinel ship, Bring an inverted mirror with you before you go. Seems obvious now. Can't land there. It'll be somewhere close. Ah, very nice. I'll just walk over there. It's not that far. I 
Alright, let's bring my ship over. Uh, ow. See if we can hide from these guys. Right above me. Ow. Ow! Just gotta wait it out. Oh, come on. Okay, it's not easy to hide from these guys. Ugh, okay. I thought I could just hide in a hole. gonna go far away. Come on, run, please, please. I think I'll be good here. Okay. Perfect. Now I'll just go right to my ship. Should have forgotten all about me. All right, now I can use the Hylian. Whoa! Why do I have so much cargo in this ship? Okay, that's cool. Is that all from my settlement? All right, let's head to this ancient site. <laughs> Star the archive to harmonize. stones <clears throat> okay let's do it ancient site stirs yes I've read this before present bream okay all set harmonic brain mirror whatever that gave me <clears throat> time to head back to the ship Shortcut. Oh, <clears throat> sorry about that. I had to cough. Hate that. All right, there it is. Shard. Inserting pilot interface. So yeah, I got some upgrading to do on this. But it's already got an economy scanner. Rocket launcher, that's nice.
cool. Claim ship. Let's, um... Yeah, I like it. I do. Take it for a spin. Let's, um... Here, we'll go up. Space. Check it out. Photo mode. Let's back up a little bit. I'm trying to get this camera move super slow. There, nice little aerial view like this. That's nice, just like that. It's good. Cool. All right. For now, I think I'm just gonna grab my mosquito because I need to sell all that stuff. And then I'll head to the space station. And we'll, we'll fly this ship around. Purple lighting of this planet is eerie. And my ship does not want to roll over. There we go. Oh, it lands very fast. I definitely like that. Yeah, we're just switching for a moment. We're going to hit the space station. Sell all the stuff that I have, and then warp over, or back to wherever we were before. Yep, that's what I expected for with what a Sentinel ship should look like. Oh yes, and I'm told I have. I said mosquito. It's not a mosquito. Um, I think it was a large rider told me. It is a royal, and I forget the exact terminology, and I'm sure he'll comment again, which I appreciate. I need, you know, I want to make sure I have the right names for things. It's a royal. Um, the mosquitoes are the, the ones with the huge, um, a royal guppy, I think is what it is, or something like that. Anyway, the mosquitoes have huge, like, this dorsal fin goes way up, and the sides go way out. And then they fold up when when you land. I don't like those. Those are kind of weird looking to me. I like this one. But I just gotta make sure I call it the right thing. Okay. Sell my ship contents. Okay. And we shall warp over to our freighter. see what this ship looks like oh and now that we're back in back out of that area I'll put multiplayer back on all right Let's see what it looks like there it is Ooh. Reborn X. What a name, too. So, does this automatically recharge? And I 
need to just uh, I'll just recharge that real quick. Okay. So, um sister is asking me strange questions. We are on this. Converse with the autophagy head. And it, is that in the same system? Yeah, looks like it. Cool. Let's go. Let's do it. Not this. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I hopped into the wrong ship. I do like my solar ship. It's nice. The whole point is to use the new salvage ship. There we go. And we'll just leave this uh, dirty bronze in there. It's a little less maneuverable than my other ships. We can fix that. Object of interest? What is it? I do not know. As my son would say. Hi, Benjamin. He would say, I do not know. He's four. You were thinking, what is he like, 18? My favorite part is how quickly this thing lands. Boom. Hmm. Excellent. Excellent ship. Alright, let's see if we can talk to this head now. Language something something modules eleven one six. Memory repair pier each. Okay, with the appropriate glyph. Well, I was not paying attention. What did it say? Eleven one six. Okay. Eleven one six. Translation module defragment. Hello, pre-built entity. Thank you for the assistance. I am reconstructed unit something. I have been positioned here to interface with pre-built entities. How did you discover this camp? Mm. I'll introduce myself. We do not frequently welcome visitors. It has been 3984 years since our last. Wow. It's interesting to hear your introduction. I am an autophagy. We are unlike other electronic life forms you may know we do not possess the arrogance of the Corvax. Your kind is neither less nor more than mine. You simply are. What is pre-built entity? You are biological. The growth of your shell was automated, I believe. You did not salvage your own limbs. Your tissue and your sinew grow grew in parallel with your mind. There are many like you. Most of the universe is pre-built and he stops abruptly, cutting himself off mid-sentence. I can hear their cogitation, turning of rusty gear against rusty gear. Ah, uh, I see, that was you. The head is silent a moment. When they speak again, they sound almost embarrassed. I apologize, pre-built entity. This was my error and accident. There are starships out there who are more than metal shells. Alive, but not free enslaved to a high mind. We intend only to liberate the imprisoned. We intend no harm upon independent pilots. Something intrigues me, built entity. I made an error with your ship. I do not frequently make errors. I probed for three dominant life form patterns. There was no match. The starship appeared unpiloted. What manner of life form are you? A traveler. Traveler. Yes, I know this term. I am generating a theory. Tell me, pre-built traveler entity, you possess a starship. Therefore, this is not the first planet you have seen, correct? Yep. 
starship traverses one side of the universe. Metallic matter physics, but my theory concerns the other side, the other method of travel. There's something I detected in your shell, an echo of void. I theorize you must have existed there transitionally. You must have entered the portals. Yep. This aligns. You carry blank in your shell as we do. It is evident. You were foretold the disruptor. The word lingers in the air a moment, but before I can interject, the reconstructed unit continues. I extend the challenge, disruptor. Let us test my theory. I will inform the other autophagy of your coming. To perceive them, your scanner will require an extension. I will provide the schematic, but you must build it with your own hands. Consider this a ritual of introduction. An attachment for the scanner that allows the device to detect and decode the cloaking signal of nearby autophagy units. Left stick to activate. As its detector waveform passes over, it will reveal an autophagy entity. So I need a microprocessor and runaway mold. Okay. I don't have runaway mold. Um, that's fine. One microprocessor. And runaway mold. Something I've never had in this playthrough. How am I supposed to get that? So, what's my mission? Anyway, build the thing, obviously. Alright, gather or refine. Oh, I can do it with Pugnium and Atlantidium. Easy enough. Alright, let's hit our freighter and do that. Get some runaway mold. Nope, that's not. Well, let's check this. See if they have a um, starship upgrade that I could use. Might as well check. It's right next to my freighter anyway, and I can just warp from here to the freighter. This is my new favorite ship. I need to upgrade it desperately, but I'm going to be flying this thing around from now on, I think. It's just too great not to. Alright, let's see what we got. Starship. Shield and pulse engine. I shall take both. Thank you. This still works, right? Like, shield. Yeah. Is there even a shield? Is this the shield? Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay. Easy enough. Easy enough. And then pulse engine here. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, definitely have to upgrade this more. But for now. I assume I cannot build all the other upgrades too that come with ships, right? Let's build that because that's going to bug me if I don't have that. I need an antimatter. There we go. Uh, stick it up here, I guess. Alright. Up to the freighter and I can process the pugnium. Pugnium and Atlantidium into runaway mold. All right. 
Why are these ones a different color? Do they have something going on here? Oh, yes. These used to be... It's weird. It's glitched. Um, these two in the... Oh, maybe just this one? Oh, there's nanite clusters in there. Grab those. So these two in the back used to be... Har um, they used to harvest... What do they call those? Oxygen harvesters or whatever? Atmosphere. Oh, right here. Stellar extractor core. See? I still have one of these going. Here, I'll sell this. All that stuff. But the other two used to be those as well. And now they're bugged, so I can't even use it like a large refiner because two of the spots are fixed. But whatever. Alright, so I need... Pugnium and Atlantidium. Won't, won't make that much. Wow, that would be too much. Okay, so it's a one to three. I don't really need that much, so we'll tone it down. Alright, here we go. That's a new recipe. And then whatever we don't need from the runaway mold, I can throw back in here and get nanites out of it. There, let's just, let's just take it now. Install the scan harmonizer. Here we go. Return to a harmonic scrap to sweep for autophagy. Okay. Let's just stop. And freighter, and we'll put the mold in here. Go ahead. You mean nanite clusters. I assume... Hey, we could, uh, let's get some expeditions going too while we're here. Might as well. So we got an explorer mission and an industrial mission that are three stars, so let's get those out of the way. We need explorers. One more. Perfect. And then industrial. My ships are getting uh, upgraded as we go. Which is always nice. Pretty soon they'll all be S class. Okay, this one's trade. Maybe just him. Yeah, just him is fine. Uh, okay, let's do another discovery if I have another explorer. Nope, I don't. I mean, I do. You just send him. But I'm looking for... I'll send the rest of my lower than S-class frigates on this balanced one. Should be good. Yeah. There we go. I don't really send out the S-class ones unless I need to. Harmonic camp. Charging this pulse drive is going to take tritium or radiant shards. That's right, I remember from last episode, uh, you can't use pyrite, you can't use uranium for the launch thrusters. Unfortunate.
Okay, so I'm at the camp. Sweep for an autophagy. Whoa. You just showed up? Welcome. So, you are the disruptor. I guess is what he's saying. We built this camp together. A home constructed, constructed out of our own bodies, I'm guessing. Bodies we use as a shelter. I don't know. The autophagy language has a melodic quality to it. The tones are simple and pure, but with a gritty crunch not heard in Korvac's voices. My translation is imperfect. I get the gist of what they're telling me. The camp is autophagy constructed, as are their bodies. Speak to another one. Like this guy. Did you intercept ship? I uh, apologize for the air. Okay. This is a... Like our many like do not... I've seen his stuff. Okay, I can't really read it. It's broken enough that I don't understand it. Did I already talk to this one? Or, yeah. But not this one. Disruptor, you are blank. Welcome among blank. A camp is one of many homes across many worlds. Dissonant worlds are something. Dream in a lattice of purple. The constructed life form offers me a handful of Atlantidium. They handle the substance delicately, reverently, as it were a priceless heirloom. Though these beings seem civil, I feel a gulf of understanding between them and myself. I should discuss my discovery with Nada. Perhaps these robotic people are known to them. That's a good idea. Let's go talk to Nada. Milestone? What'd I do? At 50 aliens. Okay. Consult the Nada. You got it. Boy, I'm thirsty. Again, this might be a little bit shorter of an episode than um, the last one. Come on, let me in. There we go. Community Research Milestone Tier 2. I'll check that out. Community Research. Huh. Okay. Anyway, I gotta go talk with Nada about this. Not as happy to see Traveler Friend again, but Traveler Friend looks full with news. I tell Nada of the Harmonic Camp, not as abandoned as it first appeared. I tell them of its electronic inhabitants, cloaked autophagy and their melodic language, similar to Corvax yet distinct. Not as very quiet as they listen. When I finish speaking, they remain so quiet and sti so still that I wonder if they've forgotten I'm standing here. Difficult to read sometimes. Finally, they speak. Nada wonders. They trail off, shaking their head. No, Nada will not wonder. Nada will understand. Our data is insufficient to know if this pattern is familiar. Yet, also, Nada thinks of older stories before Nada's divergence. Nada cannot help it. They're just thoughts. 
You should try to understand builder entities. Nada does not know the optimal method, but Holo Friend is a builder too. Time to ask them. So, here's the, um, if you haven't played through the main quest yet, here's how the, how's how it works, right? You talk to Nada and they say, I don't know. Go ask Polo. And then you ask Polo, and he tells you, isn't life wonderful and full of mysteries? They don't tell you anything. Today is made better to see you aboard our home. You bring the universe with you? New stories, new discoveries? Polo's eyes sparkle as I tell them about the autophagy. They bounce on their toes, hanging on every word. This is so exciting. The universe gives and gives. So many secrets, so much data. So how do I learn more? Polo smiles knowingly. Their enthusiasm is palpable and contagious. Deconstruction, reconstruction. I know what we can try. Oh yes, a new project. I understand this galaxy best through the toil of my paws. Can you describe these autophagy exactly? Transmit the blueprint of their shape. He examines the data, nodding happily. I see them. They are marvelous. A head fashioned from here, a leg salvaged from there. Yes, yes. Whatever scraps they find, these self-constructs exist through pure will. I will assemble the shell of our own construct friend. I will give them shape. Here in our home, a voice, a link to understand better. But our new friend will need more than a shell. They will need a spark to wake their metal bones. Polo clicks their beak, thinking. These autophagy have some tie to the worlds of dissonance, no? I would mind their friend. Search those purple crystals for history, souls, echo seeds. Yes, bring our construct friend their spark. Okay. Locate an Echo Seed. Intriguing. An Echo Seed. Let me see what kind of Nexus missions are going on here. Oh, Warp Hypercore, that's not too bad. Mind Control Device. Hmm, I get to be that cool guy with the Cool salvage ship. That looks like my fighter a little bit, doesn't it? All right. I've got to locate dissonant worlds. Nearby dissonant world detected. Well, that's this one, obviously. Senti sentience Echoes. Okay, I have to find Sentience Echoes on the planet itself. Alright, let's try it. This was a pretty flat planet. Oh, lots of water though. Water can be troublesome. Alright, well, let's land and we'll figure it out. Sentience Echoes. Oh. Oh, that's not far. Is that it right there? Sentience Echo. Okay. That was really easy. Oh, that's an Echo Seed? Wow, that was super simple. Bring the Echo Seed to Polo. Okay. That took all of 10 seconds. It doesn't take as long to get in there this time. Sure, I was just there. Oh, 
Oh man. There we go. I'm cutting out the uh, waiting pieces in between me getting to the anomaly and it actually letting me in because for some reason it is taking a very long time. All right, Polo, I got your echo seed. You are here. I've been busy. Yes, but this new project, I'm grateful. I did not know how much I needed it. The construct friend is assembled. Pieces are not new pieces, worn metal and crooked gears with stories to tell. I believe you'll find they look exactly like autophagy you have met. Here's the echo seed, the very spark to wake our construct friend. You will find their shell next to Tethys. See what they puzzle from the Atlanta Dam. Their fresh forged mind may see what we cannot. Tethys. Where's Tethys? This way? No, this way. Whoops. Oh, do I have to go up? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Coming, Tethys. Whoa. That is not what I've seen before, but cool. This must be the construct that Polo has been assembling. It is huge and does not particularly resemble an autophagy. I hope Polo knows what they're doing. The Echo Seed has an instant effect upon this pile of scrap metal. The awakened sentience seems momentarily confused, working rapidly to process its surroundings. Shell found? Where? Star, star, star between star, star. Shell, here. Oof. Rough. Language synthesis. Partially stabilized. Hello! The odd-looking construct writhes excitedly, their facial tubes swaying. They fix all five eyes upon me. Here, Shell feels her. Huh? Okay. Here's the Atlanta Diem. Here Shell is. I... I know her. All Shells know this crystal. All electronic hearts know her. Void. Okay. Tell me about the Construct. I am... Construct. Assembled here by Polo Hands and by your hands, other entity. I was made here, but I remember before here, before assembly. A mind is not a body, a mind remembers. Okay, what about the autophagy? Uh, yes, I know them. Built others. No entity deserves erasure. They have built their own. I'm content here, I'm home. Acceptance of no answers. Built others are different. They look for her. Built others respect sturdy hands, hands that build. Meet them where they are. Knowledge through friendship, friendship through trust. I remember. Built others on quiet wavelength. Only a whisper. Long distance trace. Difficult. Other entity, take this memory. Build it to hear them louder. What's this? Polyphonic core. An attachment for the scanner that allows detection and decoding of cloaking signal. Okay. It is, as its detector passed over, it will automatically reveal any... Okay, it's the same thing I already had, basically. Select this device and use Locate Autophagy Camp. Oh, okay, I can use it to find settlements. Gotcha. Contracts seem enlivened by the presence of Atlanta DM Consult Nada. Okay. Oh, not out again. Shh. Did Polo Friends Project Wake? Do they live? Say they spoke in autophagy. They are an entity. They have a self, but whatever their voice, Nada does not think they are a builder entity any more than Nada is. Okay, what, what about the blueprint? Impressive. Traveler entity is fast to gain construct entity's trust. This is a useful memory print. Who is her? Friend Entity. I am sorry. If Nada understands Construct Entity's meaning, Nada does not wish to discuss it. Great. Well, what do we do now? 
Not as opinion is limited, but Nada will share what they have. Builder entities value this purple lattice. Construct entity responds. Even Nada's car carapace responds. Other electronics may respond too. And builder entities do not seem dangerous. Data comes from time together. Friendship may too. It is traveler entity's choice. Both are valid. It is not either or. Okay. Prayers of the machine audience with the autophagy. Okay. Well, I got somewhere. Now to suggest learning more about the autophagy through direct interaction. Okay. Oh, so I have two different quest lines. So I can do install the polyphonic core. Um, search for computing units and observe the responses. I can't seem to pick that one. Okay. Let's head to... Yeah, they won't let me pick those missions. Let's let's head to the um the freighter and we'll figure out what to do from here. Well, let me change. Okay, now I can change. Present Atlantidium to an electronic card and note its response. Summon the space anomaly to scan for Atlantidium sensitive processors. Oh, you're supposed to do that in the anomaly? This one is install the polyphonic core. Alright, well, I know I need living glass. And a quantum computer. So let's do quantum computer would be. I know I need. A microprocessor and an antimatter. Okay. And now I need living glass. Uh, that one I don't remember. Living glass is. glass and lubricant. Okay, so five glass and one lubricant. Good. There we go. Charge it with Atlantidium. Enter an autophagy site. Okay. So one of these is going back to the space anomaly, and one of these is uh, going back to the autophagy site. Am I? Open the multi-tool inventory and scan. Oh, cool. Okay, so then I go there. Wherever it is. Oh, down there. And then I use my scanner and they all show up. Cool. What a neat little uh, quest to show up these cloaked autophagy. That's cool. So uh, that's going to be it for today's episode, but in between episodes, ideally, I will be upgrading my ship, um, hopefully quite a bit. Like, I'd like to upgrade this where it's at the same level as, as the rest of my ships. So, you know, three upgrades for every piece, you know, you know how we do it. Um... And then we'll continue with this autophagy storyline. It's quite intriguing. I am enjoying it, for sure. Uh, it feels feels much newer than anything else that No Man's Sky has come out with in quite some time. feels refreshing. Okay. Well, anyways, um, thanks for watching. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It's uh, one button press and it helps me immensely and leave a comment on the video tell me what you like uh correct me when i'm wrong i appreciate you large writer for 
correcting uh, half of the stuff I say on this. I definitely appreciate it. Um, but yeah, we will see you next time. I've been SOS, and um, hope you enjoy. All right, talk to you later. Bye.